everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Madison. I am a first year second grade teacher and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a whole classroom tour. If you are new here, then I would like to give you some background knowledge about this classroom. I started setting up this classroom in early July and I set up for a little over a month. I was here every single week setting up. And towards the end of my classroom setup, we started to get the word that we may be virtual learning for the beginning of the year. So I was really disappointed as most of you saw, I set up my classroom, I spent a lot of time in here and um, I was pretty disappointed when I found out that we were going to be going online for learning. However, we just got word that we are most likely going to be back in person, at least grades preschool through second grade, which I am in second grade. So I will be back in person sometime in August. So I have been spending some extra time getting my classroom ready for my kiddos. We've been virtual for a month now and I've got to know my kiddos and I love them and I'm so excited to be spending time with them in person but I am even more excited for them to see this classroom finally because I poured so much heart and soul into this classroom and it is truly the classroom of my dreams that I have envisioned in my head and it really just became a reality so I am really excited for you guys to see it I will try to go into as much detail as possible I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's go ahead and get on into it so starting out here in the hallway this is the entrance to my classroom I have this little welcome sign this is from the Target dollar spot a little over a year ago and this is what my entrance looks like every classroom and this building has a different colored accent wall and mine is yellow and I have a pretty big bulletin board out here my hallway bulletin board says the future is in great hands. I'm planning on getting different um, shades of skin colored hands to put right here. I just haven't printed them out yet. And on the first day of school, I was going to take a picture of them holding a sign of what they want to be when they're older, but I am waiting until they come back in person to do that. So I will have a picture of each one of my kids holding up a sign saying what they want to be. So future doctor, or future teacher, and hopefully, I will be able to get a picture of all of them to fill up this board. Then coming back over here towards the main entrance area, I have my front door. I created this door decor myself, so if you would like to grab it, you can grab it on my TPT, which is linked down below. I just used some white wood contact paper for the door. And then over here, I just have my little bit moji, which I just printed, laminated, and cut out. And then I have this makeshift bulletin board over here. This has our morning greetings on it, which I also made myself. So if you would like to grab these, they are available on my Teachers Pay Teachers. And up at the top, I just have our first day of second grade sign. And I'm hoping to have my kids all take a picture with this sign on the first day. Even though it won't technically be the first day of school, I still want to have it just for memories and for their parents to have it. And then coming down here, I just have this little white wood table. I got this off of Facebook Marketplace for free and it was originally black. I painted it white and just have some sanitation supplies on the top. And then I keep this little cart over here because I use it to bring library books back and forth or supplies to the media center. It's just really handy to have a rolling cart and um, I can just keep it out here. Then walking into the classroom, I have this doormat that says welcome friends I got this off of Amazon and I'll go ahead and give you guys an overview of the entire classroom first alright starting at the front door we have my mat right there in front of the door and then above the door, I have a sign that says the future of the world is in this classroom. That was just a stick on vinyl someone gifted to me off of my Amazon wish list. And then I just cut out and laminated a picture of the earth to put right there. And right here we have our how to be a hallway ninja, kind of like our hallway rules. I can't remember who I downloaded this off of on TPT, but if I find it, I will have it linked down below. I think that's super cute, especially with us all wearing masks right now. 
Then panning over to the right side of the room whenever you walk in, we have our first bulletin board. And this bulletin board, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it, but I decided it's 2020, so we need a mask rules board. So this has our mask do's and don'ts. This product is also on my Teachers Pay Teachers if you would like to grab it for yourself. And below this bulletin board, I have a desk. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this here, but for now it's nice because I can always set my stuff on it when I walk in. And then I have these three drawers over here. I got this from Target. In this first drawer, I am having the kids keep their reading mats in here, which I don't have in here right now because I'm still in the process of making them. When I do have them made, I will show them. Follow me on Instagram if you aren't already because I will always show pictures of stuff that I make on there. On the top of this, these are our bathroom cones. So with COVID, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to use them, but normally if my kids go to the bathroom, they'll have to grab this and put it on their desk so that I know that they are gone. And there's only two, which means only two kids can be gone at a time. So I usually just keep those over here by the door. And the second drawer has our Friday folders in them. This is where the kiddos will keep their Friday folders so that they don't lose them, and that way I can hand them out every Friday. And I'm having a feeling I will need this extra space for the Friday folders, so I need to get another label to put down there. Okay, panning over, now on this side of the wall, we have our student center. So I knew when I saw that I had this big cubby area, I wanted to make this the student center just so the kids felt like they had a place that was all theirs, especially since I do have tables and they don't have desks to keep their stuff in. So each one of these cubbies, one kid will have their own cubby. They have hooks to hang up their jacket or to put their lunch boxes in. If the I find that the kids are too short, I may have to put their book bins down on the bottom for them to grab. But for now, I have all of their book bins up here. In their book bins, I have this binder, which is their writing portfolio. They have a book bin with a clipboard, three folders for each subject area, a whiteboard, and a baggie with their whiteboard eraser and marker with their student number on it. Then up here in these cabinets, I have a lot of miscellaneous items. So this one has a lot of pencils, markers, crayons, extra paper, and just extra bins in general, and scissors. This one has some dry erase boards, a lot of extra paper and dry erase sheets, some tape, extra clipboards, and again, just extra storage. And over here, I keep all of our reading curriculum. So starting on the back wall of the classroom, Starting off in this corner, I just have this pocket chart for my kiddos' headphones. I just created this headphone storage label if you would like to download it. It is on my Teachers Pay Teachers as well. And I just have this hanging up with some command strips. And eventually I will number all of these pockets with their student numbers so they will know exactly which pocket to put their headphones in. The first bulletin board coming over here on this wall was actually a makeshift bulletin board. I had all this wall space over here, so I really wanted to put a bulletin board here. It was a lot of work to put up a makeshift bulletin board on concrete walls, but I think it turned out really cute. There's a few wrinkles which kind of bother me, but at the end of the day, it's more work to fix it than it's worth. And so I just have this as our class rules bulletin board. So it just says, do the right thing. And then I have my Bitmoji class rules, which Teach, Create, Motivate created these. I will link her TPT down below. I think these are so cute. And coming over here, I have my little desk area. So I have a tiny little desk over here at the front of the classroom but I need more room to work, especially since we are virtual learning right now. So I had this high table that I just put some contact paper on and I moved that in the back of the classroom, put this cute little rug under it and boom, I have myself a little office space. So I keep this 15 drawer cart over here, which has all of my weekly plans in it, which is easily accessible by my desk. And I just have some teacher resources that I keep on top of there. Then coming over here, I don't know if I will always have this set up like this, but right now for virtual learning, I like to keep my easel behind me with my whiteboard, and that way I can hang my anchor charts up on there. 
And behind me, I have this bulletin board that says, look at our work. This is our work wall. So once I get kiddos in here and I have some of their work, eventually that is what will be up on there. But for now, I just printed out these Our Brightest Work Coming Soon papers off of Teachers Pay Teachers. If I find those, I will definitely link those down below as well. I got these two little jumbo googly eyes off of Amazon and I created this on PowerPoint. So if you would like to grab this bulletin board decor, it is also linked down below. Now coming over to my desk area, I got these fake eucalyptus plants and this little macrame thing on Amazon. I just wanted to add a little something to the front of the desk and I think it looks really cute. I have this here which holds all of my post-its. These little succulents were gifted to me by a friend. I keep tape and my stapler over here. I have a little diffuser. I keep my Yeti full of water here every day and I have this cute little customized coaster. Then over here, I just keep things that I need like my doorbell and my smart board remote and some hand sanitizer, of course. This is my stick jar. So this is where I pull sticks whenever I am calling on a student. And then I got this little supply caddy at the Target dollar spot, which it really comes in handy because I hate having a bunch of different cups on my desk. So this holds all of my highlighters and markers, all my pencils, all my pens and flare pens. And then this is kind of like a miscellaneous scissors, hole puncher, um, ruler, just things like that. And that is my desk area. Then moving on to this side, by my desk, I keep a couple stools, and this will be nice if we do have small groups. I will have to bring them up to my table because we're not allowed to have a kidney table in here anymore due to COVID, and it just can't fit in the room with social distancing. So I will have kids just pull up a stool next to me, and then I have this small group cart over here, which is really nice. So this small group cart has my reading supplies and my math supplies. So at the top, I just have these two little cups that have pens, pencils, dry erase markers, erasers, a timer. I have some leveled books over here and then some whiteboards in here. Down here for reading, I have our whisper phones, our finger pointers, some reading buddies, some magnetic letters, and then more magnetic letters and tiles in this box underneath. And then for math, I have some math manipulatives over here, um, some number lines, and some hundreds charts under there. Then coming up above that is our information center bulletin board. I love this area. Again, this bulletin board decor, I will have linked down below if you would like to grab it yourself. It is on my Teachers Pay Teachers. And so on the information center, we just have our calendar over here. I love having a calendar in my classroom so we can refer to the date every day. We have our days of the week. So every day we will talk about what day it was yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And we have the weather. And so every morning I like to go over that with my kiddos. And then coming over here, this is something that I'm hoping will help me a lot this year. This is to help me keep track of attendance. So all of these little cards over here have student numbers on them. So my students will come in every morning as their morning routine. They will grab their student number and put it over here under I'm here. That way I can just look behind me and see who is absent. And I'm hoping that will help me keep track of attendance much better this year. Above those bulletin boards, I have my alphabet. Now, I bought this alphabet in a large decor pack a year and a half ago. So if I find that, I will have that linked down below. But I really love how the alphabet fits perfectly up on this wall. Now coming over here towards the window area, this is probably my favorite corner of the room. This is where our class library is. And I have this really cute white sheer curtain that I hung up there. I got this off of Amazon as well. I will have it linked down below. And over here on this wall, I keep this tin drawer cart here because this has all of our early finisher activities. 
So whenever the kids get done early, they have an option to come over here and grab an early finisher activity. And there is all kinds of differentiated worksheets, puzzles, word searches, coloring materials, stuff like that. Up on the top, this has all of our calendar and weather supplies for this board. Then up on this windowsill, I just have a cute sign that says out of all the classrooms in the world, ours is the best with this little plant right here. And then I have some books displayed on the bookshelf. And down here we have our colors. This little macrame thing came in a two pack. It's the same one that I have on my desk. I just thought it would look really cute to have it up on the window right here. Then coming over here, I just have this cute fake plant, again, off of Amazon, and I just put it in a red mason jar that I've had for a while. I have this little plaque right here that says, in a world where you can be anything, be kind, and then another little plaque from the Target dollar spot. Then over on this wall, I have this large chart that says books we've read, and as you can see, I've already started writing down the different books that we've read together as a class. Coming down here on this wall, I have this little container that has some task cards in it, which kind of goes along with the early finishers. The kiddos can come and grab a task card that they want, and they are all labeled by different genre. So for example, I have task cards that are for getting up and get moving, task cards related to time, subtraction and addition task cards, there's place value, money, all sorts of different topics. Then as far as furniture this year, I couldn't have anything too fluffy or soft that is hard to clean. So I got these lap desks from the Target Dollar Spot and these stools from Five Below. And coming over here, this is our classroom library. I have a book stand over here that holds all of my really big picture books that don't fit over here on these shelves. I received this book stand off of Facebook Marketplace for I believe $10. It was originally brown and I painted it white and I think it fits perfectly over here. Then coming over here, I have these three white shelves. These are from Target. I got them on sale this year. I love them. I think they really make my library look more put together. And then I just have my books labeled really simple. I have chapter books. And then over here, I have all of my picture books. Now these picture books, I just have labeled at their book bins. I wanted to keep it simple. I was going to organize by genre, but I just have too many books and it would have taken forever and we were going virtual originally, so I didn't want to take the time to do that. Um, but I think this looks still really organized and neat and put together and I'm definitely going to talk to my kids about the importance of keeping our classroom library clean and organized. And these ones over here kind of have a variety of picture books and chapter books, so I just made a label that says variety. If you want these book labels for yourself, I have them on my TPT. If you would like to download them, I will have them linked down below. Then over here, I have our book return cart. So this is keeping in mind that we will eventually be going back into the classroom and I will have to sanitize a lot of books. So I will have the kids go book shopping on Monday and on Friday, they will return their books in here and they will get washed and sanitized over the weekend. Now coming up to the main focal point of this library, I have this really big tapestry. This tapestry is from redbubble.com. I will try to find this exact tapestry and have it linked down below. I love it. I think it really adds to my library and I just think it makes it so much more colorful and it's just really a statement and I think my kids will really like it too. And then I just have these little signs from the Target dollar spots and the color scheme just went really well and I just think it added a cute touch to the top of the shelves and that is the library.
now coming on over to this side of the classroom, I have this big cabinet area, which leads down to this corner, which I will get to. But this big cabinet area, I would say the main focal point of it is our class birthdays. So I decided to do some different decoration this year for our class birthdays instead of all on a bulletin board. I decided to put them over here since I had all this cabinet space and it was originally blank. So over here on these balloons, I just have the month and then I wrote down my kiddo's date of birth on them. And then I have this yarn in my classroom that I just cut and taped on there so it has little balloon strings. If you would like to grab this class birthday decor, I will also have it linked down below. Above the class birthdays, I know it seems like it's hard to see, but in person it's much bigger and closer than it seems, and my kids actually can read it, <laughs> but it has our Be a Safety Ninja signs. So these signs just say, to use your own supplies, wear a mask when needed, cough and sneeze into your elbow, wash your hands, stay in your own personal space, and raise a hand to leave your seat with some cute emojis on them. This is also on my TPG if you would like to grab it for your own classroom. Now going down to the countertop area, I will start over here. Over here we have our sink, and above the sink I made this makeshift bulletin board. This is just contact paper on the wall with bulletin border around it, and I have these hand washing steps. So I will go over these steps on the first day of school in person with my kiddos. We will talk about the importance of washing our hands, and I just thought it was a really nice visual to have for the kids in front of the sink area. This is also on my TPT if you would like to grab it. Now moving over here, next to the sink, we also have this sanitation station. So I just put a little bit of everything that we might need, some tissues, wet wipes, hand sanitizer, Lysol, more Clorox wipes, now moving over here, I just have this tray right here which holds my mentor text read alouds that I don't want the kids getting their hands on quite yet. And I have these cute little signs from the Target dollar spot. I think they fit really well back here and just add a nice little colorful touch. And then I have my two turn-in trays right here. This one says finished work and unfinished. These are free on my TBT if you would like to grab them for yourself. Then coming over here, I have my pencil sharpening area. So I have these pencil sharpeners for my kiddos to use whenever they need to sharpen their pencils. And I keep some back here in a jar as well. And I keep them in a tray to collect all of that pencil sharpening dust. Now going over to this corner of the room, this is another favorite corner of mine. I just think it turned out so cute. If you watch my classroom setup videos, I will have those linked down below. You saw that I really struggled with what to put in this corner and I actually really end up loving how it turned out. So I just have this black rug right here. This was gifted to me off of my Amazon wish list from a family member. So I got this rug off of Amazon. I will have it linked down below. Then I just have a couple more black stools over here just because I didn't want to get rid of them. They're easy to sanitize so I figured I could give that as a fun seat option for my kiddos whenever they can move around the room. Moving on to this bulletin board right here. Again, this bulletin board decor along with all my other ones will be on my TPT. And this is our objectives board. So it just says what we are learning and it has all of our objectives. Over here I have this white bookshelf and this I actually got off of Facebook Marketplace as well for I believe maybe $20 and it was originally pink. So if you guys watch my classroom setup then you would know it was pink and I liked it pink at first because I thought it kind of went with my theme but it just didn't go over here. The black and the pink clashed, so I decided to spray paint it white, and I ordered these gray bins to put inside, and I think they turned out really great. So I feel like for this area, I'm going to have this as our calm down area or a cool down area instead of just a desk, because I think it'll be a lot more comforting for the kiddos to know they can come, plop down right here on the circle carpet, they can read a book, and in here, I have our indoor recess supplies. 
So these are all things the kiddos can play with if they are choosing to play responsibly with them during our indoor recess. So in here I have some coloring books, different balls they can play with. This is kind of all different puzzles for them to play with. This one has a lot of different building blocks and there's a game in there for them to play. Down here, these are some more building blocks. These are our math manipulatives, so these will be off limits during indoor recess. And over here, again, we just have some more games, building blocks, and constructor straws. So this is just going to be a fun little play area for the kids for indoor recess, as well as a calm down area if the kids need to go just take a breath and relax. Then up on top of this shelf, I thought it looked so plain before, so I decided to add a little bit to it. This came in the pack of my fake eucalyptus that I have over on my desk. I added a book over here. I got these book stands off of Amazon. I will have them linked down below. And then I just am going to switch out this book probably maybe every morning, maybe every week. We'll see. Then I have this little light up cactus over here and this little cute sign that says choose to be happy. And then I also have this sign in the middle that says be kind. Now panning over here, we have our word wall. So I really love how this turned out. I think it's really cute, it's really functional. So as you can see, I've already started to add some words. So we've been learning so many new words in second grade. So I just cut them out, laminate them, hole punch them, and put them on a little ring, a little binder ring. And I think it turned out super cute. I'm so excited to add more words and by the end of the year have this whole thing full. I forgot to mention, up above my objectives board, I just have some shape posters. This, along with the color posters and the alphabet, came in that big bundle. So again, that will be linked down below. Now, moving over to the front of the classroom. Like I mentioned before, every classroom has an accent wall. My color wall is yellow, which I actually ended up loving. I think it makes my room so bright and happy. So over on this main wall, I have these big letters that spell out, you belong here. This was the first quote that came to my mind whenever I was trying to think of something to put up on this wall. And I just love it so much. And I think it turned out really great. And then I have my whiteboard area here along with my little teacher area. This is where I will sit for read alouds or just any carpet time at all. I got these two pillows from the Target Dollar Spot. This um, rocking chair, if you saw my Instagram post about it, it was a DIY project. I originally got this for free off of a really kind man that gave it to me whenever he found out I was a teacher. It was originally brown, so I painted it white. I think it just goes a little bit better, makes it a little bit cuter. And then coming over here, I have this little bench down below my whiteboard. I really wanted a bench underneath here just for a sitting area for my kids and it's nice to have some extra storage as well. I ordered these little wicker baskets off of Amazon. I will have them linked down below. And down here I just have some extra reading buddies and whisper phones, some extra markers and colored pencils, and then some extra writing paper. Now coming up towards the whiteboard, I will go into detail about everything over here. On the left side of my whiteboard, I just have our class schedule. This is the schedule for all of second grade. So I just wanted to keep it really simple and minimalistic. And it has the times of everything. That way I know what's going on and the kids know what to expect next. I'm not sure if the schedule will change with a hybrid model. If it does, I actually have these on my TPT as well, this template. So if you would like to grab it, it's free over on my TPT and easily editable. Then on the main part of my whiteboard, this is kind of my behavior management part of the board. So over here, I have the teachers versus students game. If you haven't heard of that, 
basically it is just um, a game where the students can win at the end of the day if they have good behavior or the teacher can win at the end of the day if they don't have good behavior so I got these little base 10 magnetic charts off of Amazon I believe they're gifted to me from my uncle off of my Amazon wish list so shout out to my uncle if you're watching this and basically what happens is if the kids are having really good behavior then they will get a point so the base 10 charts came with these little 10 cubes or circles <laughs> and so if the students are doing a great job they get a point so if at the end of the day they have more points than I do then they would be the winner so I actually just had this idea to print cut and laminate off bitmojis so I printed my bitmoji so if I'm the winner of the day then I will just put myself in this little circle <laughs> that says winner and if not then I found this little classroom bitmoji picture and I will just put them in the middle so I thought that was a fun way to do it and I know my kids will think it's really fun to see themselves in that winner circle now coming over to this right here this is another talking classroom management tool so I saw this game on teachers pay teachers I believe is where I downloaded it I thought it was a really great idea so basically what it is if the kids are talking then I will take away a letter and if we get all the way down either you can set a goal with the class if we have three letters left by the end of the week or the end of the day then we get a prize or you can make it a little bit harder and say if we keep all of our letters by the end of the day or the end of the week then we can earn a prize you can really use it however you want but the point is whenever they're talking you take away a letter and you can make the prize whatever you want um i just have it as a popcorn party right now but i will talk with the class and we will figure out a prize to work towards together now over here, this goes along with my talking classroom management. I just have our voice level signs over here. I got these off of Miss Fifth on TPT. And I know you guys have probably seen this everywhere, but I love this visual of having these big stick on lights. So when the kids come into the class, I will have one of these lit up so they will see what their voice level should be. I think I will be using this a lot, probably every single day. And then I had this idea to use this buzzer that I got from the Target Dollar Spot. And if the kids are getting too loud, then I will press the buzzer and let them know to quiet down. Also, I have gotten a lot of questions on these as well. I got these little magnetic cup holder things off of Amazon. So I will have these linked down below as well. Over here by the smart board, I have our class callbacks printed out, cut, and laminated, really big for them to see. So we haven't been using callbacks yet since we've just been on Zoom, but I do plan to go over these with my kiddos um, once we are in person. I am a big believer in callbacks. I think they really help with classroom management, especially if you make them fun like this one. Hands on top, that means stop. That one I will use mainly throughout the day just to get their attention if they are working on something. Can I get a what what? That'll be more just a general attention grabber. Wipe it clean, can't be seen. I will use this one when my kids are using their whiteboards and I need them to erase whatever they are working on. And I love this one right here. In this house, we're quiet as a mouse. So the kids will whisper back to me, we're quiet as a mouse. And that one will be just to get them to quiet down if they're getting a bit talkative. Over here, I have my smart board in the middle of the room with my projector. I have these really cute lights over them. I believe I got these off Amazon. If I find them, I will link them. And down below, I just have some cute motivational posters. And coming over to this side of the room, I have my little corner. So even though I have my work area in the back of the classroom, this is still kind of like Miss Campbell's corner over here. So I really wanted to make this bulletin board all about me. I got this sign off of um, Teachers Pay Teachers from Taught by Tatum. So I will have this sign linked down below as well if you would like to grab it. Then I just have a bunch of pictures printed out of my friends and family and just things that make me happy. 
Above this bulletin board, I have our classroom hand signals. So again, we'll go over those as a class on the first day of school in person because we haven't really needed them online. Then over on this side of the wall, I just have a little collage of things that I love. This was gifted to me during student teaching. These little posters a friend of mine gave me. And um, Kathy, if you know her, she is a fourth grade teacher that I work with, one of my best friends. She drew that picture of me and it's just really special to me. She gave it to me for my birthday, so I keep it right there. I have a picture of my little pup, Nala. And then this right here, I have just full of things that are for me right now, but eventually it'll be more like mail or anything the kids need to give me or anything like that. I will keep in that little mailer. Then right here, I have this plaque, which was gifted to me by my student teaching class, and it just means a lot to me, and I bring it with me to every classroom that I go to. Now, I keep a few things down below my desk. Right here, this is an organizer where I keep a lot of my lesson plans. Right now, this is holding um, a lot of holiday material and holiday lessons, and um, I will eventually, hopefully, have my units kind of organized in each of these drawers. Then I have my teacher toolbox right here, which really comes in handy whenever I need any of these things. I know exactly where to grab them. I have our doorbell over here, which is really great for getting the class attention. And then over here, I use these milk crates and files for student mail, what I give to them in their Friday folders, and student data. Now, the last part of the room over here by my desk, I have this really big cabinet area, which is really nice and great for storage. So on this part of the cabinet, I have our class jobs. And what I really liked about this was that they're crews, not just one person jobs. So I can assign multiple people to the jobs. Eventually I will have my kiddos names written on here, but obviously we're not doing class jobs right now since we are online learning but I really love all of these jobs and I can't wait until I can finally implement them in my classroom. Down here we have our class agreement. So these are the rules that my kiddos and I came up with together on the first day of school. And they are rules that we are going to talk about every day and live by in this classroom. As far as the setup for my classroom, if we are doing the hybrid model, I'm assuming we will only have half of our class on Monday and Tuesday and half of our class on Thursday and Friday, which means the most I would have in here is 10 kids at a time. Some days I may only have six or seven. And so I would only have a couple tables with two kids at them. And um, then on some days I might only have one kid to a table. So right now this works really well. It's still really roomy in here. And I just love the layout of my room. I think it's really bright and open, roomy and colorful. And I just love how it turned out. So that is it guys for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this classroom tour. I know it is long awaited and I'm sure a lot of things will change in my classroom once I have kiddos in here in person. But for now, this is what the state of the classroom looks like. I worked so hard in this classroom. I love how it turned out. Like I said, um, I am just in love with it and I really poured my whole heart and soul into it and it turned out exactly how I envisioned it would. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy watching I would love to hear what your favorite part of the classroom is so leave a comment down below what your favorite part of the classroom was and other than that make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss future videos and I will see you guys next time bye